ತ್ವಮೇವ ಬಂಧೋಶ್ಚ ಸಖಾತ್ವಮೇವ ತ್ವಮೇವ ವಿದ್ಯಾದ್ರವಿಣೇವ ತ್ವಮೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವ ದೇವ ಜೇ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಲಯಕರೆ ವೇದೋಸ್ತುತಿಯುಚ್ಚರೆ ಜನಾರೋಮ ಸುಚಿದ್ರಮ ಅಣು ಸಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಕೋಟಿ ಫರೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಕಾಡ ರವಿ ಸಸಿ ಸುರಗಣೋ ಆಜ್ಞಾನ ಲೋಪೇ ಕ್ಷಣ ಏವಾಕ್ಷರ ಧಾಮಧಿಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ ಜನಿಯಮೃತವಾಣಿ ವಹಿರಹಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಮಹಿಮಾರುಪೆ ಜನೀ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಅಹೋಲಿನ ಕರೆ ಸುಭವ್ಯ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಪದೆ ಶರಣಾಗತ ನಿಜ ಅಲ್ಪ ಜೀವ ಸಹುನ ಶ್ರೇಯಾರ್ಥ ತತ್ಪರ ರಹೆ ಕಾಕಾ ಸ್ನೇಹಲ ಸಿಂಧು ದಿವ್ಯ ವಿಭುನೆ ಹೈಯೂ ತೋ ವಂದನ್ ಕರೆ ಸಜಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ನೀ ಜಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಗುಣಾತೀತ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪೋ ನೀ ಜಯ 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 ಪ್ರಗಟ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಕಾಕಾಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಪಪ್ಪಾಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಸ್ನೇಹಲ್ ಸಿಂಧು ದಿವ್ಯ ಬಂಧು ಶತಾಬ್ದಿ ಪರ್ವ ಮಹೋತ್ಸವ ನೀ ಸದ್ಗುರುದೇವ ಕೀ ಜಯ 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 ಆಜ ಕೆ ಆನಂದ ಕೀ ಜಯ 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 ಸರ್ವೇ ಗುಣಾತೀತ ಸ್ವರೂಪೋ ನೀ ಜಯ 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 ಅಜಯ ಸರಸ್ ದಿವಸ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಬಾಪಾಸ್ ಭಜನ್ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಬರ್ತ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಏನು ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾ ಪೂಜಾ ಅಜಯ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಸುನಿಲ್ ಭಾಯ್ ನಾ ಖೂಬ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆವಿ ಬಹು ಸರಸ್ ಆನಂದ ಈ ವಾಚ್ ರೋಕಾವಾನಾ ಕೆ ಪಾಚಾ ಜವಾನಾ ಬಜಾ ಅಜಯ್ ಸಂಜೆ ಪಾಚಾ ಜವಾನಾ ಸರ್ પાછા શિબિર વખત પાછા બંધ થશે એમ સારું સરસ સો નોર્મલી વી વોન્ટ ટુ ફોલો સ્વામીની વાતો દેટ વી વર ડુઈંગ બિફોર સો ઇઝ દેટ વોટ વી આર ડુઈંગ નોર્મલી સો વી વોન્ટ ટુ હાવ 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 ડુ યુ ડુ યુ રીડ ફ્રોમ ધી બુક ઓર યુ રીડ ફ્રોમ ધી વોટ ઇઝ ફોલો છે રીતે વાંચે છે હા ઓકે સો ધેન લેટ્સ રીડ no whatever you know last friday we didn't get a chance right. but the devotees you know mm-hmm. so if we want to give them konaji ki bolwada thing chena i think part mein aata samna de le swami log telephone na thi aaj okay out the next friday share. coming friday next friday we are going to be in shibir shibir and we would make some planning of that also you know that those who have been doing we can have them also say something on that but uh, do we want to maybe continue with this then okay ಮಹಾಧ್ಯಾಸಗವತ ಪವೀತೆ ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಮತಿವರೈಕಾಂತಿಕೃಷೆ ಸದಾನಂದ ಸಾರ ಪರಮಹರಿ ವಾರ್ತಾ 
गुणातीतानंद मुनिवरमहम डोमी तम स्वामीनारायण हरे प्रथम तो सर्व कल ने पड़ता मुकी ने एकाग्र चित्ते थी ने श्री जी महाराज पुरुषोत्तम ने संभारी ने धारवू जे कि स्वामी बात करे छे, न पड़ी सांभिए छे ते प्रमाण पोता अंतर में तपास करता जाऊँ अने कहू से समझी ने वरतव अनादिमूढ़ अक्षरमूर्ति श्री गुणातीतानंद स्वामी बात करी प्रकरण बार बस्सो बस्सोमी बात है प्रकरण ट्वेल ने बात नंबर टू हंड्रेड स्वामीनारायण स्वामी ये बात करी जेने त्यागी थवे तेने कोण रोकनारू है दस वीस वार भाग्य फरी घरे तेड़ ना आए सॉरी आ मैं वाँची दीदी से बसो ने एक भी बात वाँच लास्ट टाइम बसो वाई स्वामीनारायण संवंत ओगनीसो ओगनीस अषाढ़ी द्वादशी ने दिवसे स्वामीए बात करवी जे सूरवीर डायो धीरजवान ने बुद्धिवान तो तेने कही है जे जेने जे बात धारी हो विघ्न न आवा दे ते महाराज ने आ साधु एवं ठराव करव तमीए सहित सर्वोपरि उपासना ज्ञान भजन स्मरण स्वामीनायण करव एवं ठराव दृढ़ करे ते भक्त डायो छे ने अक्षर ब्रह्म जे आ साधु जेमा अखंड महाराज रहा है तना संबंधी पोते ब्रह्मरूप थी महाराज की अखंड उपासना करवी ए ठराव करने अनुसंधान निरंतर राख मरती मरती कान हलावे तम कई न थाय ने जे हाथी ने नवरावे पी धूड़ माथे नाखे तम बे दिवस ध्यान भजन करू ने पी मूकी दे ते एवं कहवाय जान स्वामी महाराज जय सजानंद स्वामी महाराज हार बस 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 सजानंद स्वामी महाराज जय In the year of 1919, in the year of 1919, on the black half of 12th day in Assad, Swami said, "The brave, very wise, patient, and intelligent person can decide something." then he would not succumb to the obstacles the same way we should always have the decision our destination is maharaj and sadhu the in in that when we take a destination like that uh, the we should have dedication towards maharaj and then we should do all the knowledge all the devotion and all the remembrance of swami narayan bhagwan when we make a st- strong decision like that then we are a good devotee and akshar brahma the the mur akshar murti this saint in him maharaj is always there and from with the association with him we are becoming brahmarup in that way we should 
con consider all the time and we should always have our goal to have that kind of dedication but if we are hesitant in doing the bhajan that is just like a, a elephant he, he takes a bath and then he puts the dirt on his on his head the same way we do the bhajan and the devotion and the meditation for two days and then we leave it that is the same as uh, elephant being clean and after getting again dirty sajanan swami maharaj ninje I was going to say something of high level discussion today but then I saw Virat and I said I have to talk Virat's language you know good idea okay we have said that with your prayers you can give me whatever knowledge you want to give me so virat you know gujarati right in english a little or a lot a lot okay so you prefer english okay but i want to find out that when harshandi was saying in english how much did you remember elephant okay <laughs> what about elephant good mm. whenever we give an example in the discourses it is easy to remember apne ye jare ke kok no evo prasang kahiye to apne ne prasang yaad rahi jaye ane પ્રસંગની સાથે એનું જે રહસ્ય છે એ પછી થોડું સમજાતું બી થાય એનું દેન ઇટ વિલ બ્રિંગ ધી રિયલ મિનિંગ ઓફ દેટ પ્રસંગનો યસ્ટરડે વી વેર ટોકિંગ વચના મૃત્યુનો એન્ડ દેન વી બ્રોટ આઉટ વન પ્રસંગ ફ્રોમ ગુણાદિતાનંદ સ્વામીઝ ટાઈમ એનો દેટ બીકેમ વેરી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ ને ભાષણ ઘસતા હતા ભગતજી મારે yeah so he, here gunaditanand swami is giving an example of an elephant now if elephant is taking a bath and if little ant is taking a bath and if we say that if ant is taking a bath and putting dirt on the head it may not be that impressive as we would talk about elephant and taking a bath right also elephant is considered to be a wise animal you know hmm? and if we are wise and if we do something improper which is also not good you know so swami is talking that one who is a brevo one who is a wise one who is with patience and one who is with intellect that whenever we give this discourse and whatever he has extracted from this discourse the highest thing then he should not let it go he should keep it focus for that goal right so i think you have all these four qualities 
Do you agree? Yeah, he says yes. <laughs> you are a bravo, right? Are you a bravo? Why you are bravo? You finish? I face my fears. You face your fears. Are you what? तो मारा का तो भी हाई लैंग्वेज बोले आई फेस माई फियर्स एनी बड़ी हर्ड दैट बिफोर एनी बड़ी हर्ड के ही सेज आई फेस माई फियर्स इज दैट सम विराट सूत्र But fear, no fear. Huh? Fear, no fear. Fear, no fear. No, no. But I say I face my fears. So, but anybody has heard this slogan? Oh, you have, Emily. So, must be from the music or something. Where did you learn that from? Somewhere. Defin definition of brave. Oh. <laughs> That's a very good one. I will remember. <laughs> good, good. So you are a bravo. You face your fears. What was the last fear you faced? Do you remember any? Mom was getting angry. <laughs> My, well, I don't remember, but. You don't remember? Oh, you are facing that fear, huh? <laughs> so you better not get bad grades, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But what is bad grade? Uh, anything less than A? B is bad grade. Okay. You always like A, so I just go with that. Huh? Oh, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, and then somebody told me A plus, A plus. is even better than A. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that is very nice. So then I'll focus to. I know you have all four, but I'll focus to somebody else who has those qualities also. You know, the second quality is wise. You think you have that, Sahaj? Vice? How many percent? You don't know. I should be hundred percent. Yeah, very much. It gives me advices. Oh. Seventy-five. That's Kakaji's number, you know. If you have seventy-five, then you pass. <laughs> and your mom was saying that you are wise and you gave give advice to your mom good advice, good advice good to your mom sometimes. sometimes so what was the last advice that you gave to your mom which was good um, a couple of weeks ago yeah, okay huh we were going to pick up my sister okay Who was mad? My mom was bringing me out or something, and I said, "Well, um, uh, God's gonna help you, but you also have, you also have to do fifty percent of the work to achieve that goal." No, oh, that's a good advice. Come here, I'll shake your hand. <laughs> Very good, brother. <laughs> so you can be a bravo. You can be. Wise. Third one is you can be patience. Does that fit in you? Yeah, Kush. You don't know. On a level of zero to one hundred, where do you think you fit in patience? Fifty. Okay. Fifty is better, right? 
He could have said 51. <laughs> and where do you feel that you were 50, 51 percent patients? Give me one example. In getting what you want, you are not patient. So, that is a good way to be patient, to get it. Okay? Everybody got it? Do you remember that? Oh. So what was that they were ganging up on you? I think they were just... I mean, they are, they are weaker than you, right? And they want to gang up on you. Must be some joke or something, humor, you know? I think it was just for fun. Was, I for fun? Just tired. Eh? So, but you enjoyed that, right? Yes. Okay. Good, good. So, that is third thing, patience. And the fourth thing is? Intellect. Intellect, intelligent. Who should we ask? You are the boss. My sister? That's what I thought. <laughs> but I wanted from you. you know. <laughs> She is talented, right? Yes, yes, she's talented. She's talented, yeah. So before I ask her, maybe, you know, you tell her what is good talent that you find in her. She always, like, when I need help on, like, homework or something, she always helps me on it. And she never, like, gets angry at me or anything. So this, she's really helpful. Mm -hmm. But talented is a little bit different, you know. Talented is like that if you want to come to Chicago mm -hmm. and she makes the, you know, all the preparations and helping your dada and dadi to get in the car fast and soon and all that, that is called talent. <laughs> Any talent like that? Okay. So, you came today, right? This morning? Or yesterday, right? Oh, yesterday, right? yesterday. So, you didn't have... Oh, yesterday was Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good, Bina. But I see a smiley face on you whenever you come to Chicago, you know. Yeah, every day. Every day? <laughs> every day. Okay. We'll have to do something, right? <laughs> we bring Chicago to your place. That would be good, fun, right? We bring every once in a year, you know, when we come there, right? Good, good. But see, Swami is saying that these are the four good qualities. Now you will remember, right? Hmm? So, now one who has a highest level of focus, no trouble should come on the way on that highest level of focus. So what is the highest level of focus in our satsang? God. Very good. God. And then? Studies. Oh yeah. Studies is highest level of focus. How about you, Sahaj?
becoming level four. Level four means Brahm Rup. What do you think was highest level? Focus in God. Focus in God. Okay. How about you, Murthy Beta? Highest level? Oh, that's very nice. What she says that when you are doing the chanting of name of God and when other disturbance come, you don't focus on the disturbance, but you focus on God. You are not going to be able to do it. You are to So that is what Swami also saying, you know. That those who come in the satsang, in Junagadh, and lot of elevated souls come there, you know. Starting from Bhagaji Maharaj and all the, you know, Jagaswami, Ada, and others, you know. Nirajananand Swami and others, you know. For them he is saying that they have all these four qualities and they focus so that no problem comes in their goal. So, Swami is saying that same way we should focus on God and the Gunatith saint. Then Maharajana Asaduno Evo Tharav Karvo. Then Namiye Sahit Sarvopari Upasna Gnyan Bhajan Smaran Swaminarnu Karvo. Those who come to the Mandir, they have some background, you know, different background. They belong to, you know, Lord Krishna or Lord Ram or Lord Shiva or some other, you know, deities, you know, which is good, you know. But when they come to Junagadh Mandir, Swami is suggesting that they should do the remembrance of Lord Swami Narayan. Because that is where they are going to be benefiting a lot. Just like when you go to school, Virat. Do you take your, that game, iPod, what do you call, do you have? Yeah, like you don't have that? Yeah, but at home you don't play with it? The iPad, yeah, I play. You, you play with iPad at home, right? And when you go to the school, mm -hmm. then you don't take it, right? Why you don't take it? Or you would lose it if somebody else would like it better than you, huh? Okay, that's a good idea, <laughs> not to take it. <laughs> but uh, would they allow in this school? Uh, well, they say you can put your cell phones in your locker, don't have it in your pocket. Or in the classroom? Yeah, they can have it in the classroom. Okay. So same way, if we tell here that put your iPad and phones and everything and then come here, is that fair? <laughs> good idea. <laughs> But <laughs> okay, but Swami says, you know, that when you come to the mandir, you should give up everything which is less than Lord Swami Narayan and Gunatitanan Swami, right? So that is what Swami says, and we should do upasana, hmm? the highest upasana, which is of Swamnan Bhagavan, then Gnan the discourses, highest discourses from Vachnamrut Swami Nivato. Then Bhajan. You know what Bhajan means? Yeah, it's like singing like Bhajan, but it's like our song, but, you know, like, it's like we're trying to, yeah, it's like a prayer song, like that. Because we had a nice sit down today, you know, with Another Virat Bhai. <laughs> and we were talking about that. You want to know more? Okay, then we'll have to have Virat Bhai talk. <laughs> <coughs> what is bhajan? Right? Okay. Have a mic? Have a
सज्जनस सजान स्वयं महाराज ने जय सो टुडे मॉर्निंग वी वर जस्ट हैविंग अ डिस्कशन एंड इट वाज विद रिगार्ड्स टू द फर्स्ट वात इन आर शिबिर कि स्वामीनारायण मंत्र महामंत्र थे जीव ब्रह्म रूप थी जाए सो इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट आई वाज जस्ट टॉकिंग विद इंगर अंगल दैट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस वी टॉक अबाउट दर फ्यू टर्म्स दैट वी यूज प्रेयर और प्रार्थना then we use the term bhajan then we use the term uh, dhun then we use the term puja then we use the term swarup yoga and like you know these are all f- kind of related terms and uh, what is the difference or how do they play amongst each other and uh, dingar uncle talked about bhajan was interesting because uh, it's it's has all of the components in it um in lot of uh, swami nivatos he would say uh, you know hence do bhajan hence mate bhajan karvo if you want to do this do do bhajan you know if you want that then do bhajan and uh, uh, i think we understand what prayer is prayer is normally you know asking requesting pleading for something you know from god or whoever you feel is a higher authority and asking for that that's in a very literal sense it's a it's a prayer and uh, the difference bhajan was that it had the component of uh, as as virat said like you know so it has a component of melody in it as a component of uh, rhythm and music in it um normally there are two terms we use bhajan and kirtan kirtan is one which uh, talks about glorifying god in literal sense kirtan means to sing the glory or to glorify so a song which uh, which is sung with a lot of you know feelings glorifying god and then it's an affection that is called kirtan and bhajan has one component which is uh, first of all it is uh, rep- repetitive in 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 in, in its uh, in its form where uh, you know you would re- repeatedly pray you know repeatedly you would uh, remember so that's the one smriti you know re- repeatedly remember god repeatedly glorify god and you would do that with a comment of some um melody or some bhajan or some some song or a poem that you have you know that's there written by either by you or someone else you know but uh, in the in the swamini vato and the scriptures uh, the bhajan is stressed a lot you know if you even talk to gunati it says they will say you know bhajan karo this everything will happen just you know and we normally translate it sometimes to say pray you know pray and it will be all be done good you know but i think bhajan has all the components of being repetitively uh, iterating um about uh, you know glory of god repeatedly iterating our own prayer you know and uh, remembering our incidences with god so there was the um, bhajan part and uh, there is a lot of uh, dingle went through a lot of definitions from like a dictionary of what a bhajan means um but in satsang sense is generally uh, dingle was talking about bhajan karvu is actually praying either for yourself or for someone else you know in that uh, repetitive sense if you um want to if you if you was if you want to become brahm roop or if you if something is bothering us impatience or anger then we put that prayer you know thinking of god knowing his uh, compassion thinking of his compassion and then praying for that you know that oh god please you know i don't want this please help me with this you know and that sort of repetitively chanting and praying is bhajan you know so <coughs> so here uh, swami is talking about ki mare bhajan smaran ane je baduk everything we should do about swami narayan that's knowing his glory that is uh, you know seeing how great god is you know you know we, we may think that uh, you know everything that's 
for instance everything that happens in our life right uh, one could have that easily that feeling that uh, as, you know some, sometimes people would have feeling that i did this that's one level of feeling then they would have the feeling that oh it's because of my family that i was able to do that then they would have a feeling that oh because of the community and the i'm living in that was supposed to do i was able to do that or this happen then is the city i'm living that's because it happened it's a country that played a role and uh, the continent and the planet but if you think that god you know now he reverse the whole process that everything in my life let's say it happens because of god everything in my family happens because of god everything in the city or town and the continent and now the whole universe happens because of god you know and that's the glory we want to understand of god is not just that he controls me and everything around me but for everything and if, which i'm not related with he also controls uh, controls that and he plays a role for that so knowing that uh, the you know um, ultimate you know and i'm trying to be simple here but knowing that that you know glory of god that's how we should uh, you know pray to god that you know i think i was saying that in prayer there are two components there is a close prayer and there is a open prayer there you go what close prayer is the one that where we expect a, a, a specific outcome that you know i want ipad 4 something like that i don't know whatever your prayer is you know <laughs> or i want to play mine for is that minecraft yeah. for minecraft right is that the name of the game yeah i want to play that for i want to play that for 5 hours a day you know <laughs> and <laughs> and so that's uh, kind of asking for something which a very close sense you know what we want and yeah let's go ahead and say something if you want anything yeah and close prayer is that we think that this is the best for us and then we ask based on that based on our own capacity an open prayer is that you know it's we defer to god that he knows the best for us and he will that uh, make that happen for us you know so you know then the question normal question is then why do i have to pray if god knows what's the best for me and is going to do that then why do i have to pray do does anyone why do you think if what's the point of doing an open prayer if you are you know if god is going to do the best for you right then why do we still have to pray to please him okay hmm no why do i open prayer i'm saying you know if is is why do pray in, in the first place if we know that god is going to be doing the best for us then what is the point of an open prayer um, just maybe a question just came to my mind <laughs> my question for you so <laughs> so to please god is uh, definitely you know that's a that's a good answer you know and or at times is also to receive the strength that we accept you know what god is doing for us is the best for us you know you know it's uh, we know our parents want the best for us right we know that but are we do we always follow what our parents tell us <laughs> right so at times then we th- that's the case right uh, we know that god wants the best for us but then we may not follow everything that he wants us to do so then we pray that oh god you know you're doing going to do the best for us may we follow and accept what you're doing for us and enjoy you know like if we, if if we with a parent right when they do good for us like you know if you wanted an ipad and they got you you'll be so happy mom dad you're the best you know <laughs> the bestest in the world right <laughs> but then they take away something from us that we want hey you know you don't understand me you know <laughs> <laughs> slam the door huh? <laughs> i've done those things <laughs> <laughs> and that's maybe that that's the time where you know if we invoke god and we ask for his strength that you know through my parents god you are working and me may, may i you know enjoy that you know because uh, 
and then they want the best for us and then god want best for us you know so that's maybe one of the reasons that you know we could do um, open prayer but yeah <clears throat> so તેમ નામ્ય સહિત સરોપર ઉપાસના જ્ઞાન ભજન સ્મરણ સ્વામિનારાયણનો કરવો એવો ઠરાવ દ્રઢ કરે તે ભક્ત ડાયો છે સો સમવન હુ એચ્યુઅલી રિઝોલ્વ ધિસ ફોર્મલી દેટ આઈ વોન્ટ ટુ પ્લીઝ ગોડ આઈ વોન્ટ ટુ પ્રે ટુ ગોડ યુ નો ટુ કન્ટિન્યુઅસલી ફોકસ ઓન ગોડ એન્ડ ધ વન હુ મેક્સ એટ કન્ટ રેઝોલ્યુશન એન્ડ વર્ક્સ ટુવર્ડ્સ એટ રેઝોલ્યુશન યુ નો યુ નો વેન પીપલ ગ્રો અપ યુ વિલ સી દેટ ઇન જેન્યુઅરી ટાઈમ ફ્રેમ everyone almost makes a resolution that they will lose weight they will <laughs> they will uh, go to the gym yeah they they you will <laughs> eat healthy <laughs> they see they say that uh, the gym memberships they really skyrocket in january you know they like yeah everyone shows up you know and then by the time february comes in you know <laughs> right so we all make they all make resolutions 90% of the resolutions i'm not, i'm just throwing a number out there if you ask people's resolutions those will be the th- things you know eat healthy be healthy exercise work out you know pray more and they'll happen for the first month or so but then you know yeah you know and so very very, very you know yogi ji maharaj used to say we are very brave in starting something you know prarambhi shura that says we are we're great starters you know <laughs> Gujarati, uh, Gujarati people, norm, like we are all Gujaratis, right? We are all great starters. You know, we'll start anything with a lot of zeal and energy. And, but then when you have to complete, go through that, that's, <laughs> that requires a different type of resilience, different type of bravery, you know, a different type of metal, you know. And that's what uh, Swami is saying, that the one who are firm, you know, in their resolution and in their conduct, you know, that... those are the best type of devotees you know that i'm sorry like neons like neons exactly you know yeah you know uh, and normally uh, you know uh, we we have this resistance because we are either we're not following the neom properly or we're not understanding the rationale behind it or we're not understanding the value behind it so it's very important to understand what we do you know sometimes we just do something because let's say you know society is doing it or someone is telling you to do it and you love that person you may do it and that is great to that is great way to start and that's why we can start you know but along the process we want to make sure that we are understanding it and then it we, then we do it then really we get the benefit for it you know so we want to have that sort of uh, learning attitude or learning aptitude that you know what are we doing what are we doing are we learning from something from that you know ne aksha brahm ja sadhu jema akhand maharaj raya che tera sambandhi pote brahm rup thai maharaj ni akhand upasna karvi e tharav karvanu anusandhan nirantar rakhvo so your god is uh, talking about uh, you know in uh, of aksha brahm of gunatanand swami through which to the saint to unati saint like the uncle god is present is manifest you know and we want to make a resolution that we want to be in the the term that uh, swami is using is uh, upasna we want to be in his company you know so you know and we were talked about this before you know one way to think about upasna is someone lives a life right like my bill gates right when he passes away he be probably known as the richest guy that ever lived or probably he'll be lo- known as the ceo of microsoft right or the guy who started microsoft or probably he would be known yeah xbox inventor he was basically invented xbox his company invented xbox but he'll be known as a very uh, great philanthropist you know because right now he's doing a lot of philanthropy and a lot of uh, you know work in africa charity. charity work exactly right so he could be known of any of those things you know depends on how what is net some people will think was his contribution to the world you know and that's one way of living or having an identity an eternal identity bill gates will have that eternal identity but we as devotees what the goal i want to have is that i want to be known as a devotee of swaminarayan bhagwan that i was you know a great devotee 
or I was very elevated devotee, I, you know, of Swaminarayan Bhagwan. And that, to have that resolution, to, to actually live a life, fulfilling that, that is in a way upasana, that we're ensuring that we want to be called of Swaminarayan, you know, that we belong to Swaminarayan, that we, you know, will have, you know, a seat in the company of Swaminarayan Bhagwan. And the best way to ensure that is by actually attaching ourselves or associating ourselves to a saint like that, you know, who is. Today we want to see God, you know, it's, you know, it's possible. It's possible to see God. But what, the question is, what is the easier way to see God, you know? In, in the saint, you know, today uh, you go in front of a murti, right? And you pray, oh God, please show me yourself to the murti. And, you know, or you will close your eyes and you'll contemplate and meditate and you'll say, okay, well, God, please show me your murti. And people have done that in the past and they are able to get those kind of revelations. But those are very long process, you know. Now, if we want today, you know, um, for example, from for that static murti to now become moving, you know, to actually become in 3D, to move around with you, right and then giving you that darshan that's that's quite a thing right but we have a saint that moves around with us you know we can see him like you know we can touch him we can listen to him we can see him the way in 3d right now the part that is left is that to see god in him you know and that is what we have to practice that you know that we want to pray to god that we have such a relationship with our guru that we can experience and feel his presence through him you know and that's because all of us are devotees of god that we want to have that association with god but here it has made very simple by for us by the presence of a gunatit saint he has it in it but we are not able to experience it at some point you know it's because of our own um because of our own uh, you know maturity level and and stuff like that you know but there are people who do experience that you know so we want to elevate to that level that we experience God, you know, the ultimate God with us. That's the idea, right? We want to see God. You know, everyone wants to, when they t ask, have you seen God? You want to say, yes, 100%, I've seen God, you know. And you want to show, yeah, here, this is God is, you know, this is God is, God is here, you know. You want to see, be able to say that with that assurance. And the presence of a Gunatit saint is is a boon, is a blessing by Bhagwan Swaminathan Harish that I will always remain to such a saint who is, you know, who is void of all desires, you know, who is has the highest level of elevation, who is ever dwelling in God, that nothing other than God is dear in his life, you know. He has no attachment to women or to to money or any of the luxuries, you know. God has promised that he will pre remain present through such a saint. And there are, you know, the Dinkar uncle is that saint, you know. We have Swamiji, the Pramukh Swamiji, Sahib, you know, those are all these saints. And in their company, people do feel a change. You know, people do feel different. But we want to raise our consciousness that we experience the highest source in his company. You know, so that's what Swami is saying. That you know, we want to we want to uh, make our upasana strong. પણ મરતી મરતી કાન હલાવે તેમાં કાય ન થાય જેમ હાથી નવરાવે પછી ધૂળ માથે નાખે તે બે દિવસ ધ્યાન ભજન કર્યું ને પછી મૂકી દે તે એવું કહેવાય સો દેટ ફોમ ઇઝ દેટ ધ એક્ઝામ્પલ દેટ યુ સેટ દેટ ધ એલિફન્ટ રાઈટ હી ટેક્સ અસ બાથ એન્ડ દેન હી અગેન થ્રો ઇઝ મોડ ઓન હેમ એન્ડ દેટ્સ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ કાન્ટ્રો ઇન ડીટ રાઈટ ડઝન મેક સેન્સ ઇન ધ સેમ વે વી વી જસ્ટ ડોન્ટ વોન્ટ ડુ ધીસ લાઈક યુ નો વન્સ ઇન અ મંથ ઓર વન્સ ઇન અ યર and then forget about it and you know and then st start again we want to incrementally develop this you know even if it is a very small change we want to make that change smaller day by day you know and we want to keep on practicing this uh, day by day that we want to increase our faith increase uh, you know our conviction in god increase our relationship with god you know you know it's very interesting we were talking to dingar uncle about what uh, what is his what does he want with the kids group here you know what is expectations and so the government was saying that in this country the kids have you know they have good all of us have good parents they're taking care of us there's good uh, government is providing all the different health 
benefits there are good universities education everything is there you know in india some of those basic things are, are a problem you know but over here government is providing all of that so dingram was saying that we want to give the spiritual side of their life that year they will learn everything about how to be successful in the world you know from their parents and from the school they will learn everything but we want to give them the spiritual side and so that was a very nice uh, notion you know it was a very nice notion that to, to get that spiritual side and uh, and maybe in shibir we'll talk about what does it mean to be spiritual you know because there are terms like spirituality and there is terms term like religion and often times they are, they mean the same but it's also important to understand the difference you know the spirituality and religion so uh, but that's the uncle's goal for us that we want to become more and more spiritual in our life you know and and maybe pray to the uncle that you know we all you know it's and it's all we all are going to in this together right we all want to increase our spirituality you know so pray to the uncle that you know with these kids you know we also increase um our spirituality and please god sajan sabar